Okay, so we'll head over to the chart page now to take a look at the differences there. As you can see, both units respond very quickly and arrived at the chart page in very quick time. So one thing you'll note right away is on the HDS Gen 3, it is a multi-touch unit where it will allow you to pinch zoom to zoom in or out. This is a single touch unit and you cannot do pinch zoom. Your only option for zooming is through your keypad or also with the touchscreen keys. This isn't really a huge deal as you'll find most of the time when you're zooming in and out, you're going to be using the keypad anyway on both units. Okay, so we'll take a look at redraw speed on the chart zooming in and out. So we'll start with the HDS Gen 3 first as I only have one Navionics card. We started at a two mile range. And as you can see, we're zooming in and it's very seamless as far as how it redraws. Now if we move off the chart, it caches data so it's very quick to redraw your chart. Okay, now we'll take a look at the Elite TI unit. This is in the exact same area we were on with the HDS at a two mile range to start. So you can see it's a very quick processor, very similar to the, what the HDS can do. And as we pan, pan the map, you can see it also caches the data. So you should have no issue about running your map. Okay, so as far as menu options go for the GPS feature, we're very similar. The only thing you will notice is on the HDS, you are going to have the weather structure. You'll also have radar if you have one connected for the overlay, whereas on the Elite TI, you're only going to have the structure because that's the only option available to this unit. Other than that, the units are identical in that menu. Now as far as your charting options go, they are identical. There's no difference whatsoever between the units, both on the main menu as well as when you get into the Navionics op options here in the view and in the um, settings menu here. Now when we go into the chart, we can select a double chart split on both units. And one thing you will notice is the ability to run two maps. You can run Navionics and then the Lorance map, or you can also use other maps like CMAP. Same goes for the HDS. The difference being on the Elite TI, there's only one card slot, whereas the HDS has two card slots. So there's many more options when it comes to mapping for the HDS units. So now I have dual maps selected. I'm viewing my Navionics chart on this side and the built-in Lorance mapping on this side. So you do have that flexibility and presumably if you had Insight Genesis mapping built in, it would display over here. One thing to take note of on both these units is the waypoint root storage capacity is slightly different. As far as roots go, we can have 100 roots on the TI and 200 roots on the HDS Gen 3. And waypoints, we can have 3,000 on the Elite TI and 5,000 on the HDS Gen 3.